All right, we are here at Lasso 2023 with Lindsay L. How are you? Hey, girl, I'm so good. It's I'm, so good to see you yeah. in person. I know, finally. We've been Zooming a lot we have over been. the last couple <laughs> of years. The last two years, yeah. Which also is really handy because I feel like for a very long time, you were on the road so much mm-hmm. that I rarely got to see you. Totally. But that is kind of one of the bonuses of you know FaceTime and Zoom is that I was able to catch up with you over all your crazy journeys. Yeah, I'm so grateful for it. Even like for the songwriting community, I think there were a bunch of writers who just never thought about writing on Zoom. And now it's not my favorite way to write a song, but I have a lot of writers that don't live in Nashville. And so we'll still continue to write. And if we can't be in the same city, it's kind of nice that it opens it up and it's like, okay, we can just hop on Zoom. Do you have like a favorite song that was a Zoom write? That you have um, right on time was the Zoom, really? right? Yeah, that was that song was written on Zoom in the pandemic, and um, I had I had worked with Jordan Schmidt before, but I'd never written with Jeff Warburton, and he's like such an incredible Kidding. songwriter. Like when you look at his discography, it's it's so unfair, honestly, because he's so talented. But um, but it's also weird to meet somebody on Zoom for the first time because you're like. You know, not getting the full aura of who they are. You're like are trying or not to talk over them. Yeah. There's a delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. But yeah. um, but it was awesome, and yeah, one of my favorite songs. Cool, I love that. Okay, lavender era. Let's talk about this. Dude. I feel like colors are always a very big part of Lindsay L. Like I love albums, colors, songs, yeah. nails, nails, guitar strings. I don't know. Yeah. I love colors so much. I think it is a beautiful way to express yourself and really express the art that I want to make. Like for my first couple um, albums, I would paint guitars for every song. And I just, I love color a lot. And so I've been wanting to dye my hair, Shannon, for years. And for a long time I was like, should I dye my hair pink? Should I dye my hair black? Should I, I just wanted to change. And so, yeah, I love having purple hair. It looks so good on you. It's a little wild. Um, When I first, my mom's like, you're dyeing your hair purple? (laughs) And I'm like, Every mom in the world would me though, say trust that. Trust me, it's not like bright purple. Yeah. Maybe I'll get there someday. But um, but yeah, I'm just in my lavender haze phase. Okay, what does lavender haze phase mean for your music? Um, also very representative okay. of my music. Yeah, I I feel like I'm writing the music that I've wanted to make for a long time, for like I a few that. years. Um, it's leaning more into you know my guitar nerd world. It's leaning a little bit more into like. Maggie Rogers meets 1975 era. And so I'm super, super, super excited. That makes me really excited because those are all <laughs> like some of my favorite artists awesome. to listen to. Is that who you listen to if you're not in Lindsay L music world? You know, I listen to truly every genre. I, okay. I just have, you know, favorite artists in country music, obviously, and then fav- favorite artists in indie pop and, um, you know, anything from alternative to even urban or whatever. And yeah. so I just... Um, Because I take my inspiration from so many different things, I think that's why my music sometimes sounds like a little mix of everything. But when I when I look to some of my favorite artists, that's what their music is to me. I mean, even when you look at the greats like Tom Petty or Sheryl Crow and you try to put them in a genre, you're like, well, they're kind of them. You know, they're they're this and they're that. They're rock. They're pop. They're even country in Sheryl's sense. Um, And yet when you when you really look at their discography, you're like, they're just them. They're so unique, uniquely themselves as an artist. And so that's just what I'm trying to do is just make music that sounds like me. Yeah. And I think that's really cool because like when we first started talking, I think we were at like a game place in Toronto (laughs) was like one of our first interviews ever. Like there were a lot of board games laying around (laughs) and stuff. I don't know where it was, but it was really cool. But back then, like the music industry has changed so much Mm. since then and you know there was a point in time where everyone kind of felt like they had to fit into a you know lane and if you didn't it just you know didn't work and now we're in a time in music where it's actually encouraged and it is what people are you know celebrating is that you're doing something that's a little left to center and that you're not just doing what everyone else is doing does that make it more fun for you now creating that you're actually getting to do what your heart wants to do and not what so, someone else is telling you to do <laughs> so so much more fun and so much more terrifying like I am <laughs> equally as excited as equally terrified because it's like you are being that much more vulnerable you are taking risks and yet when I look at most of the decisions I've made in my life the really really good ones are the ones that do feel kind of scary right. you know that that means it matters it means that you're nervous for a reason and so I, I truly believe that 
you know, if you can make art that that speaks to you for some reason and is like a real vulnerable representation of how you feel, then it'll find somebody else who feels the same way. For sure. You have been hosting uh, lately, which I you're have. incredible at, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. So good. And I feel like that is something that has been fun for you to like turn open, open a new book and do something else. But is there something else outside of music that you've kind of maybe always wanted to try out or dabble in that you haven't been able to cross off your list yet? Yeah. I mean, hosting CGT has been such a wonderful experience and, um, hosted the CCMAs. Yeah. 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 Like it's, um, I, I love hosting. I think it's like, a, a a beautiful thing. And obviously music will always be my first and foremost love, but, um, but it's just, it's, fun to be able to do like the other end of the entertainment industry spectrum um I would love to act more actually I would love to I was um, wondering I'm like I feel like that would be something that you would excel at yeah I love unscripted things because there's like a beauty in the um you can everything can move on a dime so quickly and you can really like mold the the script or the um, the lack of script thereof yeah. to your personality you can just kind of be you but um but I would love to do some scripted things cool let's put it out there let's put it out there why not so if anybody could it? do it it would be you <laughs> I feel so like sweet. you are that girl that like if you set a goal for yourself you are not gonna stop until you, you. achieve it probably yeah yeah and and some people in my personal life would probably be like yeah that's a massive problem yeah but, <laughs> But for me, I'm just like, yeah, I That's set goals and I want to accomplish who you them. are. Yeah. Is there something, because I, you know, artists nowadays, like, they have their own line of alcohol or they have a bar or their clothing line. Is there something you would ever want to design? Yeah. What would it be? Oh my gosh, I dream about this all the time. I would love to have my own line of sneakers. I'm such a sneaker head. I love shoes. I love just cool shoes, but specifically sneakers. So I would love to do like my own sneakers one day. I think like doing my own workout clothes would be fun. Um, yeah, I mean this. I want a pair of Lindsay L sneakers. <laughs> I just I have such a passion for shoes and sho- yeah. shoes that just have a personality. So, one day. I don't know if it would be cheaper to design your own shoes because then you'd just have like an unlimited amount so of true. them, or right. if it would be better to not dabble in making your own shoes. I know. When I even think about that, I'm like, that is a problem. Like, I don't have enough room in my closet as is. Yeah. And if I start designing my own shoes, then I might need a new house. <laughs> yeah, because you'd have to try every pair out. Obviously. Obviously. Yes. yes. Totally. All right. <laughs> so, new music coming? Yes. Is it in the works? Are you recording? New music is in the works. Okay, I have been writing like a mad woman in between all of our festivals, and I feel like I live on planes and in the studio, which are... Well, the studio is my favorite place. Planes are not my favorite yeah. place to be, but but I feel like that's what I, I truly do for a living um, is sit on planes. But yeah, I've been working. <laughs> I always on, watch your stories. I'm like, she's on another plane. I'm on another plane six days a week. Yeah, um, I've been working uh, like crazy on new music, and I'm so excited about um, getting it out there. We should have a song out later this year with an album to follow next year. Yay! Awesome. All right. Well, we cannot wait. I'm loving the lavender haze phase You're of so your life. Sweet. It is so beautiful, Thank and you. always good to see you. So, so good to see you, Shannon. Lindsay L. on Pure Country.